Today I'd like to show you some tips and tricks using one of our most popular tools, the Arbitec Turboplane. The first and most important thing when using the Turboplane is to make sure that the guard is angled at around about 45 degrees to the body of the grinder. The handle should be on the left hand side and the reason for this is really important. When using the Turboplane, when you have the guard at 45 degrees like this, it's always pulling away from the user. If you had the guard at 90 degrees across this way, you can hold it like this and it could be pushing towards you and you'll have much less control. Quite simply, the best point to use the turboplane is in between the uh, 90 degree angle of the handle and the body. So at about 45 degrees there, that's really always the sweet point in using this tool. This is the setup for a regular grinder because a lot of people uh, already own their angle grinders and they buy the turboplane to fit it. This is how I would set it up on that particular grinder. If you've got the Arbitec power carving unit, of course I would be using it with the chip catcher which uh, saves all of the shavings going around the room. They now go down a, a tube we call the dust tube. Another thing to know is that the turboplane, the outer edge of the turboplane, is the very last grind in the production of this tool. And that means that the, the outside edge is benign, it doesn't cut. If I put it onto a piece of wood holding it exactly vertical, like so, it will not cut. In the vertical position there is no cutting, but the moment I start to lean it, it starts to cut very slightly and it gets gradually more to a point and then you can keep rotating it all the way over until the blade is completely flat if you wish. So now I'll demonstrate just slightly leaning it, it'll ride on that outer edge and that prevents it from grabbing and gives you a very very smooth fine cut at an angle. So first of all vertical, no cutting. So this cut is very useful if you're just uh, wanting to take a very fine cut near the end of your project. You don't want to accidentally take too much material off. So if you lead it on its end and then just very slightly angle it, it'll take a very fine cut. If you want it more aggressive, just lean it a bit more. To hollow out something uh, deep like a bowl, I would hold it at uh, 45 degrees like this and I would sweep it like an ice cream scoop and hollow out that bowl. In actual fact, you can hollow out, even though there's no cutting edge on there, you can hollow out exactly the diameter of that blade by putting it in and rotating it as you, as you bring it in. So you can hollow out a deep bowl quite quickly. So you see the finish is really quite smooth, especially if you're pulling the grain down. Over here, just a little tiny bit rougher because I'm pulling the grain up. If I want to get rid of that, I can come from this direction and pull the grain down. So the cutting action is not abrasive like a burr disc or something like that. It's not scoring deeply like you would with uh, burrs and things like that. It's a proper cutting action and it should give you nice shavings, especially when you're running along the grain and if you're not, then it's probably time to sharpen. So now I want to show you the planing cut. I'm going to bring it down and I'm going to use the turboplane almost exactly flat. Now I have this set up with the spacer in here so that the blade is just proud of the guard. And that allows me to put the blade completely flat on the material. Here we have a, a, a raised portion. I'll just do level out a, part, a portion here and I'll take this high piece off the wood here. So now you can see the really nice finish straight off the blade. Of course this is why we call it the turbo plane and you can see how rapidly I planed a level surface. You can see how deep I went, that was raised about uh, more than a quarter of an inch there. And that just took a few seconds to remove that. 
So now I just want to demonstrate the ability of the turbo plane. In fact, all of the turbo products, or the, all the products we call turbo, um, they all have a benign surface, which means you can run it against guides and templates if you want to do things such as chair seats and uh, things where you need to repeat the, the, the cut. Um, here I've set up just a straight uh, piece of wood as a template, and I'm going to remove wood here following this as though it's a template. Now, I could use a plywood template uh, of any shape. Just for the purpose of demonstration, I'm just using this straight uh, piece and I'll just remove the wood here. So once you've uh, gone down below about uh, 8 or 10 mil, you can take away the template and you can then continue to use the edge that you have that formed as the template and you can go as deep as you wish. And now I'm going to show you the uh, Arbitec Power Carving Unit, or the PCU as we call it, um, with its guard, the, the uh, plastic guard. I've taken the metal guard off and uh, fitted the turboplane. Now behind the turboplane is a little impeller which will throw the shaving straight out of here and you can use it with or without a, a dust extractor. Obviously with a vacuum you will, you will uh, you get a better result um, but you don't have to use it. I'll just connect this like this and uh, I'll demonstrate using it without the dust extraction and you'll see that most of the shavings come straight out through here. So you can use this without a vacuum, and I generally do. I just simply have a box or a, uh, uh, a bucket down below me while I'm working, or I let it just go down onto the floor and then just sweep it up afterwards. But it certainly saves all the shavings going all over the room. The thing to know about when using the uh, power carving unit is you can do all of the same cuts as you can with just the bare angle grinder. The difference being is the shavings are now directed away and down the tube. The uh, Chip catcher follows exactly the profile of the blade. I can do the sweeping cuts, I can hollow out bowls and things exactly as I can with a normal angle grinder. I can do all of my sweeping cuts, I can do planing, I can do using templates, etc.